Representative Tilly, the House spent pretty well all week working on the budget uh, right. this week. Uh, tell me a little bit about how that went. Well, you know, it was a long week on the House floor. We passed uh, a little over a $21 billion budget. Uh, it's a tough economic time. It's a tough budget time for the state. Uh, the governor submitted us a budget, which I think he ready, readily acknowledges could be as much as $500 million out of balance. And uh, the House had a political choice to send him his budget knowing he was going to have to withhold or try and make some of the difficult decisions to and fulfill our responsibility responsibility to pass a balanced budget and, and that's what we chose to do uh, we had to make some difficult choices but in the end we invested in education we invested in public safety and we held the line on taxes and and most importantly uh, we live within our means which I think is what the citizens of the state expect I know you had to make some cuts in places that I think you would have rather not. Uh, were, th were those some of those tough decisions? Yeah, I mean, it, it's always tough. I mean, one of them specifically was education. Uh, we'd love to fully fund the phase-in formula, uh, but uh, the governor recommended that we shouldn't, and, and we had to maybe even go a step further than that. So, yeah, it's difficult, but at the end of the day, unlike the federal government and unlike what they're doing is just spending and spending and spending, uh, we're going to balance the state budget here in this state, and, and we're going to make the difficult choices when we're required to. You know, the House Republicans brought in uh, the Senate, uh, I mean, the House Democratic leadership and tried to be partners with them in this process. And the, out of the 200 and something million dollars in cuts, they offered almost uh, just over a million dollars in cuts. So they weren't serious about living within our means. Luckily, a lot of their rank and file members voted and supported the bill. And, and so even though they had no leadership on the Democratic side, at least their members followed uh, what they thought was right. But at the end of the day, we're going to pass a balanced budget. And I think it'll be one that this is the state can be proud of. All right. Thank you. Thank you.